The head of the UN's atomic agency has arrived at the Russian-controlled Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Rafael Grossi is leading a team to inspect the facility after the breach of the nearby Kahovka Dam last week. The International Atomic Energy Agency is worried about water levels used to cool the plant and heavy fighting in the area. Meanwhile, Russian airstrikes hit the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson overnight on Thursday. The attack destroyed an office building. Residents say it's the first time rockets hit the center of the city. We're going to go live to Kiev. Al Jazeera's Jonah Hull is standing by. We're going to talk about this visit by uh, Rafael Grossi and his team. The trip, the trip has been delayed for a while. What are they going to be looking for? Well, it was delayed, if you remember, for 24 hours. It was meant to happen on Wednesday, uh, on uh, th Thursday, I beg your pardon, um, and was delayed because of travel safety concerns. Mr Grossi arrived at the plant getting out of what looked like a bulletproof car in full body armour, and that gives you a pretty clear sense of where this place is located. The nuclear plant, the biggest in Europe, it is in territory controlled by Russia since the early stages of the war, close to the front lines, frequently fighting close at hand, which has sparked fears for its safety before. The current, though, concerns come from the breach of the Kokovka Dam last week. Uh, it's floodwaters surging south, uh, depleting the dam, which had been crucial for providing cooling waters to the six reactors of the Zaporizhia nuclear plant and its cooling reservoir. Now, Mr Grossi is there uh, to see his own team, the IAEA team permanently situated at the plant, and to inspect the damage uh, and assess the danger for himself. Clearly, any possibility of an accident, any significant damage there could have catastrophic wider consequences. Yeah, we were talking uh, earlier about the, um, the attacks that have been going on in Kherson as well. What are you hearing about those? Well, well, Russian airstrikes, broadly speaking, keep keeping up a pretty consistent tempo at the moment across the south and east of the country, but unusual uh, that airstrikes come into Kherson city. Uh, Ukraine's military command talking about long-range bombers and Su-35 uh, jets uh, over the Black Sea launching missiles at Kherson city, which, as you say, they cause damage to civilian infrastructure. Uh, no word on significant injuries. Normally, Kherson city tends to get hit by artillery strikes from the east side of the river. This is pretty unusual. And missiles launched in the same attack at Mykolaiv, uh, a bit further south, at port infrastructure there, and at the Black Sea port city of Odessa, causing only limited damage there. Separately, uh, cruise missiles fired, fired from the Caspian Sea hit the central city of Krivirich for the second time in three days. Uh, again, not deadly. One injury reported there, but the Ukrainians saying the Russians now seem to be targeting uh, supply depots, not ammunition and weaponry, so much as consumable supplies, what they uh, describe as logistics support for the front lines. Jonah, thank you very much indeed. That's Jonah Hull bringing us up to date from Kyiv.